Okay, remember where I dropped off the Senna saw? Now what you want to do is saw this post, just like this. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> and luckily you are out of the way of the ball. Watch carefully. Bounces off the pirate or goon totem. Those things are the strongest things in the world, I swear. Which busts through these walls and knocks this water completely over and cooling the lava. Woo! Oh yeah, baby! Time to go get our treasure chest. Woo! And down we go! And yes, we do have to traverse the whole area, so that's... Yeah, kind of a big delay to get the treasure chest, but whatever! As you see, you trusted me to put that goon totem over there, and it has served you well! And down the stairs, and we got quite a lot of treasures in this part, actually. <laughs> And to the treasure chest we go! Ding 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 Yay! Open. Open says me! What is it? Tell me what it is! I bet you this is gonna be a rib cage! The Zorn Candelabra! Yeah, yeah. A lot shinier. We don't care anymore, Barbaros. <laughs> Yay, rib cages! We need them to support our upper body. <laughs> and you know, kind of protect our organs and stuff like that. But we should probably pass out that thought from our minds, because that's kind of gross thought. <laughs> Yay! Okay. <sighs> Loading. Why must it load? I miss cartridge based systems! Oh, we're back. <laughs> And next level we're going to do is probably Relics of the Past. Uh, the next, another level is going to open up for us. And that is uh, quite a hard level, and I'm going to have to remember how to do that, called Dragon Scales. Which is why I'm going to be doing Relics of the Past first. Because I remember how to do it. <laughs> uh, why does it have to load? <laughs> Why discs? Why? Alright, here's the area. It's a big vertical area, which I think is pretty cool. Because this is like the only real huge vertical area of the game. There's another one later on, but I'll get to that later. But it's just not as big as big and cool as this in my opinion. And we're gonna go down this ladder, and we're gonna go to our left and run for our lives! Oh my god, it looks angry and maybe a little hungry. Run, 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 run. Go across the bridge. Go across the bridge. Okay, remember. Remember that color of bridge. When you see that color of bridge, remember that those kind of enemies, or though, I mean, those kind of bots cannot cross the bridge without breaking it. And that appears to be some sort of shiny gem that we'll need later. And will this one attack us? No, it will not, because for some reason it is inactive. Well, we're going to go click on this. We're going to try and grab this thing from this side, but we will not be able to reach it. So we're going to leave this area like that, and... You know what we have to do. We gotta get ourselves a Slither Gripper. Yay! And ding 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 ding! Slither Grippers for the win! Because they grip things far away and also great for underwear. <laughs> you know, who would want to touch those things when they're dirty? And yeah! Oh, whoops, my mistake. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe I accidentally hit the B button. And yay! Now we're gonna go back up to the top. Wait, wait, I gotta grab this first, my bad. And this is called the Power Crystal. And upsy daisy! And now we're gonna go touch talk to this thing. And we're gonna see something that looks awfully suspicious. Wow, did you look at that? <laughs> And now we're going to turn the, the Wii Remote sideways, just like this. And we're going to play with this guy just like an NES controller. Yay! <laughs> Look at me go! I am retroing it up. And yes, you can go through lava with this guy. Keep that in mind. Okay, press the 2 button to knock this thing off the ledge and off and out of your way. And we do not need a Slither Gripper anymore, so let's just get off here. And we're gonna go back, remove the power crystal, because you can't get this get off this thing without removing the crystal. You know, because the thing would be kind of active and it would want to kill you and stuff like that. <laughs> and we're gonna click off them and go up here and solve a puzzle. 
And this puzzle is a block placing puzzle. We're gonna place this one here. Now we're gonna I'm gonna show you how this works too. Uh, now watch this, you gotta rotate like that. Now watch what happens when I place this piece. It's going to rotate this. It's gonna rotate the other piece 180 degrees. And I'm gonna place it once again to sync up the pieces, just like that. So they're both on the same wavelength, so to speak. Now I'm gonna place the third and last piece, which is gonna switch the pieces around just like that. And you know that's gonna kinda tick me off a little, but then we can just keep pulling out and placing the piece over and over until both pieces go into their correct places. Obviously, the most efficient way to solve this is to predict how those other two pieces are going to uh, turn themselves by trial and error and then, you know, memorize the pathway and then place the pieces accordingly. But since I didn't do that, I had to do it that way. <laughs> but that solves that puzzle. You just have to link all those little pathways like that. It's not really that hard to figure out. And we're going to need this guy once again. And pop it in there. No, wait, maybe we don't need this guy. We'll see in just a second. And going down the lava elevator and oh wait I have to get off him don't I pop <laughs> uh, yeah I do not need him at this point and he's actually completely useless to bring with me and I'm going to do a little mini game before this part finishes off would you look at this it's another jukebox Yay! let's do it oh yeah Swing the remi we remote and time with the beats. Uh oh! Poopers! Woo! Yeah! Sing it! Actually, I don't know this song in the very least. <laughs> ah, I'm sucking, I'm sucking very badly. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm not doing that bad now. Yeah, I think that was it. And I think I did well enough to get the prize. At least I hope I did. Uh, yes, I did. Yay! Give me the prize. Give me, give me, give me. It's a treasure map. Yes, I can go get that. Uh, Go get another treasure by Maddie if you didn't know. Now I'm gonna go up here. Whoops, not this way. Go up this way here. Right up here. And wait a second. I need something, don't I? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta I gotta do this thing first. Okay, pull on this chain, just like this. Down, 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 like that. <laughs> just like that. And yeah, we gotta put the power gem in that thing now. And then we gotta take him up the lava ladder up over to here. And I'm gonna be doing that likely in the next part because this is going to take me a little while to do it in this part. <laughs> and. Yay! D pads on the NES for the win! <laughs> and we're going up, but we're going to grab that crate. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next part.